Thanks, Pat. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess no one's here yet. Everyone's not here yet because I know Mitch is with his dog. But um, <laughs> any volunteers who would like to take over Miri's uh, sheet? Um, uh, sure, I guess. She just uh, kind of focuses it on uh, commanding with that. So she'd be pretty easy. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, she's got the command stuff and what have you. Um. Basically, on her turn, you can make someone else move. Um, do generic stuff, nothing special. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, besides that is, of course, whacking with her halberd. Um, let me go ahead and give Pat... The integer? There we go. Integer. Alright. Alright, gang. Um, I'll be back in two minutes after a bio break. And after that, we can start. Okay. Everyone's good. Oh, actually, yeah, is Mitch, you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, great. All right then. Be right back. and the jazz.
Conrad, did you see my tweet? Yeah, it was kind of boring. Oof. You mean the one about uh, cakes? Yeah. Yeah. Coming right out with it. They feared him for he told the truth. That's why I told everyone it was boring, to spare them from the same fate. <laughs> Alright. Um, who would like to recap last episode? We went inside. We mm -hmm. went down a wrong path. Zombies. That's it. Uh, let's see. You actually went down the right path. Um, that dead end was necessary for you to trigger the switch. Um, then you also fought a big old uh, goat skeleton. Um, you run, ran around the uh, the rune some more and learned some lore. Um, but I guess none of that's important to you guys, so... Yeah. Uh, let's continue then. Yeah, there was something about Lancelot or a sword. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's not important. Uh, unless anyone would like to add it. Well, calm down, Sean. One second. I gotta pull up my notes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Sir Lancelot and Mordred, uh, their names were struck from history. Hmm. Uh, can't remember exactly why. I don't know if it said specifically. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, Didn't they do some traitory business? You can assume so. Um, anyone who knows Arthurian legend can uh, equivalent that. I feel uh, like that was mentioned in game. I think it was. Um, from what you know, um, maybe we'll we'll leave it a little vague for now. Sir Lancelot and Sir Mordred were behind some form of uh, um, uprising against the king of old, um, and what occurred was. Uh, in here, Miri was able to, um, I think her and Archie were able to find a hidden, hidden switch, open up a hidden room, and collect a item, a, uh, a horn. And on the horn, it was written, uh, let's see, on it was written, um, like it had, uh, the name of, like, an AR, and then the rest was, uh, scratched out. Uh, maliciously but uh, besides that uh, let's see I think that pretty much covers um, bullet points yep all right and of course uh, I suppose the ruins you're in right now are is like the ruins of Lancelot's former fort um, and it leads to the blood fort uh, supposedly uh, you can recall that the blood fort isn't exactly here in the material realm. It's uh, only you can only see it like if you uh, enhance your vision with magic bullshit. Um, but for now, uh, you're traveling through the swamp, and your main goal is to blow up the skull of Baphomet. Yep, we got a bunch of. Right, charges, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah, like a like a good old briefcase, I believe. Or um, or did you get multiple multiple? I don't remember. I believe Archie got the the explosives. Um. Where I think there's four booms. I uh, said so uh, put north, south, east, and west, so essentially surround it. Yes. Thank you very much. You got four boom booms to uh, to blow up the skulls. 
Mm-hmm. All righty. Um, Pat, can you move Miri? Just to check. Or token, I mean. I connect selector right now. Oh, odd. Okay. Let me just make sure I fix hey. that. Get down. Get down. Get down. Come on. Get down. Get down. Come on. Get off the table. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Um, I'm already sure you find this. Can you try again, Pat? See if you can move that token. Still can't select it. Wow. How odd. Hmm. What am I not doing right? Um, can be edited and controlled by integer. Is it the same version that's on the uh, map right now? Uh, should be? Or maybe... Hmm. Maybe it somehow isn't. Let's see. There we go. Can you move that? Yep. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was had an old token and I didn't and I changed it out like a long time ago or something. But okie dokie. Uh, with that, uh, you guys have the floor. You are here in the resting room. And um, the last thing that happened was after hitting like, all the switches, uh, this door. Uh, actually, it's not not all the switches. That was for the hidden room, but the one over here has opened. And we've completed our rest, right? Yes, of course. Um, a good two, uh, well, we'll say uh, two hours pass by as you all rest up. Okay, everybody, are you ready? Ready as ever. Mm-hmm. As you guys are heading towards this chamber. You can feel a <laughs> you can feel a sense of uh, a threatening aura coming from emanating from this room. Uh, would you, you like to feel... proceed? Would you like to proceed? Yeah, exactly. You must well, gather your party before. <laughs> you must gather your party for... before venturing forth. Uh... Mm. I can't leave without my buddy Superfly. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, everybody ready? It seems kind of. I don't like the. I don't. I don't like the feeling of this room. <sighs> I should be good to go. At least it looks okay. nice and spacious. Okay. Um, you can all move your tokens into the room. Place them where you like. Okay. Um, I think before we go in, okay. um, how about I give Ob's Shield of Faith? Uh, what's your AC at right now? Uh, my AC, it is at... Do, 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 do. That's not mine, that's Tenacity's. Sixteen. Okay. Because it, it, it lasts for ten minutes, and I'm assuming if we go in here, in the fight, <laughs> we're pretty much on the way there, so... Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll Shield of Faith then. And Ob's. Alright. Okay. Shield of Faith. Yeah. That's a lovely plus two. Plus two right there. Right. Yes. Proficiency bonus. Excellent. Alright. Um... Okay, anything else from anyone? Just to check. Mm. But uh, go ahead and place your tokens where you like them. Could I activate a fire arrow? Or oh, like switch it out? Out? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's on, Just like it's on have fire. one at the ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. I'll All proceed. Right. Uh, Cutie kind of just wanders around um, looking at one of these things. Mm 
Uh, Mary, as Mary is like observing the, the 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 round table statue that's been around the whole ruins, um, she does not locate a switch. Um, neither does Cutie. Um, however, at that moment, the door closes. Boom. Uh, but of course. Of course. <laughs> Uh, from the two sarcophagi here, they start to slide open, and they drop with a thud. You can see a old, brittled, withered hand grasped the edge on both, on each. And stepping forward... Oh, it appears to be two ancient knights, zombified. Their skin pale as white. We call them whites, even. <laughs> but all right then, roll initiative. And, it's, and their names are Tarkus and Bruford. Sure. Hmm. Is that a motherfucking JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reference? Uh, I believe. Yeah, from Spooky Water. Spooky Water. Uh, yes, my least favorite arc. What? But it's the English one. Exactly. <laughs> Are you pluck, trying to tell Luck has become pluck. Yeah, that was the best. <laughs> oh, God, it was so cheesy. All right. Um, if anyone wants to uh, put on some boss battle music, feel free. Um, oh, I forgot about Cutie's, uh, Cutie's initiative. Uh, there she is. There she is. There she goes. There she goes. Da -da. Okay. All right. Um, I believe that's everyone. Nedry, tenacity. All right, excellent. And so we have uh, Nedry. You get to go first. Oh, wicked. Um. Ah, uh, nice and spacious. I will. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, cast my hunter's mark Ooh. on. This guy, the newest one there. Which one? Uh, this guy over here. Excellent. Uh, and I will make two ranged attacks. Sweet. Let me just make sure of... Okay. Yeah, just the two. Ooh, that's a sure hit. Okay, roll Hunter's Mark. Should I roll Hunter's Mark twice afterwards, or just... Ah, uh, sure. Whatever you like. Uh, yeah, Whatever you're comfortable with. I guess it doesn't as long matter. As you get the damage. Okay. Um, oh, well, the second one he misses. Uh, All, right. All right. And pew pew pew. All right. Oh. Uh, let's um on the first one. It's a twenty. Hello. Ooh. All right. The white uh slashes your arrow out of the air. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Oh, I think Conrad's is dropping up. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. This thing rolled 20. <laughs> hey, Conrad, you back? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, with your return, I have unfortunate news. Oh, no. uh, the white slashes your arrow out of the air. Even if it's on fire? Even if it's on fire. Man, um, in route. fact, you can tell... You know what? Uh, make an insight check. My my favorite kind. Um, inside, inside. Okay, you can tell. You can see that this the white has no fear for the fire. Okay. Um, mm. did I still do damage or? You did, did not. I... It uh, it just slashed the arrow out of the air. Okay. Interesting. Okay, Miri. That's uh, that's Pat. Mira will move back a little bit. Okay. I think she's in. Let's see. You know what, Conrad? Have another chat. 
Oh, very nice. Uh, resisting the urge to see the line. Um... That is an unfortunate miss. Oh, unfortunate indeed. Very unfortunate. Okay, and I think that's the last all for her. All right, and what else for Miri? I think that's all for her, right? We... Uh, did she move? She moved, yeah. She moved back. Okay. Thank you. Tenacity. All right. Um, I'm gonna stick to the back here. Let me see my. Let me see my range. Forty feet. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah, so I'm just gonna. Pew pew. All right. Yeah. That's a oh. definite hit. And then I think maybe I can make another one since I'm not moving. Yes, correct. Ah, that one's unfortunately a miss. <clears throat> ah, damn it. 21. <clears throat> yeah, that's he's not going to risk it. All right, Archie. Hmm. I'm going to... Um, hmm. It's a tough one here. Um, Sacred Flame, I think. On the okay. top one. Top Sacred right. Flame. Sacred Flame. Ah! It just yes. passed your uh, your DC. And so right. with that, you can see the uh, the white. It's almost like it can tell it's coming. And it uh, just does like a, a step backwards and dodges it. Hmm. Alright, hold on. I still have another action. Go for it. Oh, yes. Yeah! And it's a can't rip, so you can do it again if you so desire. Yeah, I think actually I'm going to give Obs some temp HP. Mm. All right. Obs gets six. six temporary hit points. Neat. Okay, and that's my turn. Excellent. All right, the white. Um, this one over here. Uh, let's see. This one over here is going to uh, bull rush Miri. But hang on, how many how much distance was that? Yep, it's gonna bull rush Miri. Okay. All right, that's a hit for seven damage. <clears throat> Let me double check and see if she has anything. Uh, negative. All right. Yep. Um. However, it's uh. So how I rule it, heavy plate, heavy plate armor, uh, will um half regular damage. So that's only gonna be uh, uh rounded down three damage. Uh, these whites aren't wielding magical weapons. Oh, okay. So. All right. Um, this one over here is going to, uh, let's see. I don't know if he can move over to Archie. Nope. He's going to, uh, use an action to switch out to his bow. And then he's going to, uh, he's going to show Nedry how to actually fire a bow. Son of a bitch. ha <laughs> ha. I believe that's a miss. Um, yes. All right, he misses. And he's like looking at you like, ah. All right. Uh, cutie. Oh, okay, cutie. Cutie's right here, so she's gonna move on up. And gonna whack this guy. All right, that's Ooh. a big hit. Big damage. Okay. Uh, Obs. Alrighty. For my turn, I'm going to step forward. Uh, is it possible to get behind here for flanking? Let's see. Um, so, what are my flanking rules again? Um, you will not be able to flank it. However, uh, someone else can then um, get advantage on their attack. All right, that's fine. Now I'm going to go for multiple hits. Yes. Uh, 
Uno. Dos. Both those strike. All right. Minus nine. And then minus eight. Okay, and this is your bonus action? Your flurry of blows? Yes. Excellent. Can I get two more? I mean, one um, more. I mean. Actually, do you have the key to uh, use that right now? Oh, yeah, you do. You, you got two. Uh, I got so, yeah. two key for yeah, each right. of the hits, so I'm there you just go. using one of the key for this. Um, okay, only one. Um, the 12 misses. Okay. I couldn't remember if the... Unar or the extra unarmed strike gets two more swipes. Uh, I mean, I like believe, I believe it's one per, one per uh, attack, one key per per attack. All right, then yeah, I'm not gonna spend any more. Okay, fair enough. All right, um, that's Ops' turn. Excellent. Uh, we go back to Nedry. Okay. Turn two. Um, I'm going to. Take aim. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, and I will use this to gain advantage. Yes. And I will take the one that um. Yeah, the one that tried to show me up. Okay, that's this guy right here. Yeah. <gasps> uh, the Lord is my shepherd. Nice. Um, that's unfortunately a miss. Are you fuck? Okay, determination. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you still have advantage to attack. Um, aim okay. is still in effect, so go ahead and uh, roll it with advantage. There we go. There we go. Uh, under the mark as well. Yep. Nice. Very nice. I simply choose not to miss. I simply choose not to miss. Um, you can see with that arrow, uh, this guy, um. Like, he, like, moved reflexively to knock it out of the air, but he's wielding his bow right now, so he was not able to. And, um, and like, you struck him right in his chest. Passes um, right through the string. Right through the string. Right um, past the bow. And he, do he's, he doesn't like it. He's not happy. Yeah. Uh, Miri. I think, uh, first she's gonna make an attack with the Halibanner. All right. Watch out. Ooh, heavy hit. And then she'll use the bonus action to uh, make the second yes. attack. Attack. Boosh. Mm. Uh, that's an unfortunate miss. Yep. Uh, sh another action. Let's see. I think she maybe just attack one more time. Oh, okay. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, she's doing big damage here. So that's excellent. Ooh. Uh, this guy is not looking too hot. Um... And it's Tenacity's turn. Finish him off, Tenacity. Alright, so... She's going to use Fast Hands to switch to her dagger. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pop in. Definite hit. Sneaker attack. Alright. Minus seven. And yes, sneak attack applies because uh, the flanking is in effect. <coughs> you actually have advantage to attack rolls too. Alright. <clears throat> so you can roll your sneak. Oh wait, roll sneak. Sneak. Yes, uh, uh, and, you, and if you're if you're gonna make a uh, well, you moved, so never mind. But yeah, go ahead and roll sneak attack. There you go. All right, and with that tenacity, uh, how do you want to describe taking this guy down? Um, just gonna I'm gonna stick my knife in his chest and just. Drag it down and bisect him like he was cake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, with that, uh, it, it does a wail, like a ghastly wail, and uh, drops down to its knees, holding its chest, and uh, goes goes motionless. Um, yeah, that's your turn. All right, Archie. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna sacred flame uh, the downed guy just in case. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think he can make a deck save since he's uh prone. He's prone, so uh, he gets a seven radiant damage. Um, and with that, you can see, uh, it just just turns to ash and disappears. Fun. Uh, and then I'll make an Eldritch Blast attack on the other guy. Okay. Uh, that's an unfortunate miss. Uh, okay. Um, this fellow over here, uh, with the fall of his, uh, comrade, if you will, uh, what? uh his eyes glow red, and immediately an aura erupts from him of red energy, um... And with uh, cutie right there. <laughs> she has to make a con save. Cutie, no. She succeeds. Okay. <laughs> On failure, uh, let's see. Yeah, On success, she gets nothing, so that's good. All right, uh, so nothing happens there. On its turn, it's still going to. Uh, so you can see, like that aura erupted naturally. Um, so it still has its two turns, and uh, with the death of his comrade, it's like uh, he's serious. So he's gonna slash at Cutie twice. And you can see with each hit that he strikes Cutie, uh, the blood that pours out from her is absorbed by him. Oh. Well, it's better your blood being taken out by force than someone putting their blood into you by force. That's very true, I guess, yeah. Um, ooh, that's, that sounds very uncomfortable. I'll have to remember that. All right. Um, Cutie oh, no. is not... Is not having it. Um, she's going to also activate Free of the Small um, as she's going to whack this guy. Uh, is it at the start of every turn? Immediately when within? Yes. So at the start of her turn, she's going to need to make the con save first. Passed. No problem. She's going to whack this guy. She lost her fear of the small uses, but that's good. Okay, this fella is not looking good. Um, he's actually like uh, um, wobbly, despite the uh, the 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 buff. All right, right Obs. You're Obs is just moving over, doing two swipes. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, with, yep, with that one, uh, how do you want to take this guy down? I'm gonna drop kick. Bam! Uh, a, a narrow, narrow drop kick right in its chest. Um, and Cutie just moves out of the way. And he's whack! This guy just dropping on the ground and just, uh, goes motionless. Uh, it's Nedry's turn. Oh, I should say, uh, no, no, yeah. Um, I'll say he, like, fell right in front of you, so if, I don't know if you want to use your bonus action or something. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the extra key. Oh, well, I already got one attack, so I can use it, can use it to one more key strike to try to smash him. To cleanse oh. him. Sure, you, you can, you can go for that. It's a definite hit. Um, when you strike it, uh, it's like it bursts into pieces. Uh, like, a, a it's, it's, uh, like a it's, 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 it's head falls off and so its limbs, um, yeah, like it's, it head, it, it's head goes rolling down the side and like cutie like just kicks it like a ball onto the ground. 
Banjo Tooie. Um, <laughs> right, right, right. Um, yeah, it's like in pieces. Uh, Nedry, do you want to do anything? Is there anything to do? Uh, I'll I don't know. fire a fire arrow. Sure. Edit, just to make sure. Oh, uh, whap. You miss, but uh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you just know, I'll, catch it I'll say, uh, I'll say, like the head kind of just starts uh, moaning, but uh, um, uh, it's effectively dead. And like you shoot it right in the in in the head with an arrow, and its its hair starts to catch on fire. Ugh. That leaves a nasty smell. It does. Burning here is very gross. Um. But yeah, we can go to Miri. Or uh, I don't know if Miri wants to try to do anything here. Um, Sick on Archie flame. to do Sacred Flame. Yep. And with that, uh, do you want to target the head or the body? Um, I guess the head. Okay. All right. With the head goes, and so does the rest of the body. And it's gone. Poof. With its fall, uh, you can hear uh, like there's like a an echo of a ghastly wail throughout the entire ruins. With that, the door rises upward, and so does the door to the south. Honey, no! God damn it! Shit. You can see it's revealing an area to escape. These ruins with a with a ladder going up. Hmm. Um. Before we go, uh, Archie's going to check the statue just and kind of search around. Sure. Um. As Miri and uh, camera who else was looking around at the statue, there's that? no Good. switch there. Um. But uh, you do see. Um, some, some writing engraved on it, uh, to say, um, here lies not the body of Sir Lancelot, but a body double. Um, his, uh, his favorite captain to serve in these ruins, to take on his curse. Where the true Sir Lancelot is, um, only, only the lady knows. The lady? And I'll say, like, Archie, you run over to the other side. You see the same thing, same with, uh, Sir Mordred. Um, but you notice instead of the lady, it says, uh, um, their mother. Only their mother knows. Okay. You okay there, Matt? Uh, Jeff? Yeah. Alright. I guess your cat knocked over some stuff. A cup of water. Oof. Aww. At least it's water. Nothing like sodies or something. Alright. Um, you can also feel the uh, the ruins has a, an aura of peace to it. Um, so if you guys want to, you can uh, rest here before proceeding upward. I um, didn't really have any issue with the last fight, so okay. I'm heading ahead. Okay. I still got one spell slot left. Uh, is anybody hurt? I think it's only Miri, really, uh, and uh, Cutie. Cutie will be fine. Okay. She's got enough health um, to take care of herself. That'll be good. Alright, let's head in. Well, alrighty. Let me close these. Okay. So you all take the stairs upward. And immediately you are, your nostrils are filled with the, uh, the, the pungent smell of a swamp. 
It's mold. It's very wet. A lot of, uh, like, wet earth. Um, and uh, very, uh, very gaseous. Um, you look around and you can even see that uh, there's a lot of uh, swamp gas just uh, floating around. A lot of fog. Okay. Uh, let's break right here. Let's do a little quick bio break. I think Jeff would need it too. Um, we can convene in a bit. This is why I do push to talk. Mm -hmm. I guess everyone's in longer. No problem. Hi. Hey, Pat. I've been drowning myself in Team Fortress 2 videos on YouTube for the past week. Oh, oh man. I download that game. Uh, oh, no. There's a lot of uh, TF2 poops. So you can definitely get lost in there for a while. Conrad, you there? Sure am. But Jeff? Yep. All I'm right. here. And yeah, I heard you. I heard you, Mitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can pres resume them. Um, so you 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 all um, step forward from the stairs, um, and you come across uh, bare ruins. Uh, these ruins. I'm in a void. Hmm. My tokens is a void. I don't know if I'm supposed to be. You gotta lift the uh, log fog war. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't realize. You didn't, you didn't realize the fog was on here. Sorry, gang. It's okay. That's my fault. It's on there by default. So. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, so as I described, um, you all emerge from uh from the ruins to uh come towards uh what seems to have been like a demolished building. I should uh describe it as um for a long 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 time uh centuries even um all you can see here uh is a swamp around you a lot of swamp gas as i mentioned um 
and uh, seems to be like a little campsite here of some kind. Um, but uh, but that's what's to see around you. Can I make a survival check to see how fresh it is? Yes, you may. Survival is perfect for that. Okay. Mm, but I am I perfect for it? Yeah, Nedra, you, you poke around it and you can tell um, uh, it seems to have been used a couple of hours ago, perhaps. Mm. Um, but uh, you kind of just you kind of just nod. Um, can't give you something. Ooh, I can give Archie a perception check with your nose. Oh, right. The nose. Big sniffs. Follow your nose. That's a performance, but I'm going to count you your oh. 20. Sorry. Uh, uh, 20 is a 20. It's okay. Um, it would be it would be 22, technically. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, the natural dice is still a 20, so it, it counts by my book. Um, okay. Uh, Archie, you kind of... Um, you sniff the air. Um, Ned, you confirm what Nedry says about um, this was used perhaps a couple of hours ago, um, but you can tell further that uh, um, this campsite has been, been has been been used for uh, several days. Um, and you sniff the air, and you can smell something familiar. Um, you can you take a, a couple of seconds to kind of realize. Um, the familiar scent, and you realize uh, you smell Sophia. Ah! Sophia's been here. Uh, and was there other people I smelled too, or unfamiliar smells? Um, you know what? I will give your uh, your your good old roll. Um, you don't smell them here at this campsite, um, but you can smell them around in the air. Um, in fact, I would say, like, you can just, like, you can definitely smell, um, it seems to be a musky smell, um, that I can just, you can just tell that it's, uh, two, two males. I can smell the other, other adventurers, I think. Yeah, you, like, you can kind of just, you just smell it, like, kind of all over the swamp. Like, uh, they've been around here for quite some time um well we, we were supposed to find them in Sophia so uh which direction do you think maybe would be the strongest that I was able to suss that out uh, let's see sorry I think someone just dropped I think it's a groovy bot okay that's cool with me um Hmm, you can, you can't pinpoint the exact smell of, um, either Sophia or the men. For some reason, um, you're picking up on something else that's a little strange. You can smell something magical in the air. Hmm. There's um, something else in the air, too. I don't know what it is. Um, can I do, like, a uh, spellcraft, maybe, to kind of sense or get yeah, an idea? Of course, yeah, let's go with that. Let me turn off the advantage. Oh, very nice. Okay. Um, so you can, you can detect that... Uh, well, you can't like get the details of the magic mm -hmm. itself, because um, that would need the detect magic spell. Yep. But what you can tell for sure is that the uh, what you're seeing with the 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 swamp gas, the fumes, they are magical. And um, they seem all you can kind of decipher is that it seems to be casting something to confuse um, people who inhale it. Um, but with that said, uh, you can you can pinpoint a strong reading towards the east, and you just feel that if you just stick to that reading, that 
um, then you you should be able to make it out of here. You should be able to proceed, I should say. Okay, everybody. Um, I think the gas is bad. I it might make make you get confused, so we should avoid it. But I think we should go to the east. Yes, been bad. Okay. Um, that said, uh, traversing the swamp is a little difficult, so you may need a ranger if you guys only had one to uh, to to do something. Shame we don't have a ranger. It's a shame. Sorry, what? I might cut out. Um, it's a swampy terrain, so uh, it could use your uh, navigation as well. Sure. Yeah. Uh, survival. Uh, yeah, we can go with survival. I don't think good old a... survival. Yeah, there's no favorite terrain in this. Is that? No. Um, you just apply it to whatever. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so Archie combined with Nedri, um, the two of you are able to uh, to um, proceed through the swamp. But I'll say like uh, like you guys make some steps forward, um, and it kind of feels like you're moving through the swamp quite a bit. And eventually, uh, as you're like proceeding, you can, yeah, let's just use this map. Um, you can see a goblin just starts running, sprinting out of the corner of the woods. Um, and they're clearly running from something They're They look very scared. Um, and immediately, uh, like in a split second, you can see a giant axe buried in their back the axe comes zooming out of the woods and buried into its back uh, so, uh, uh, the, the cute looks the cutie uh, somebody else is killing goblins yeah um she's like well someone's doing my job what's up with that uh Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. As that happens, that. oh, go ahead, uh, go ahead, uh, Mitch. Uh, just doing the the what the Saturday Night Live. What's up with that song? <laughs> um, as that occurs, like I'll say, the, that the goblin fell like right here. Uh, you see a lightning streak just streak across the swamp towards the axe. And it stands there. You can see a a young man dressed in all black. And they stand by the axe and turn to look at you. It's four. In the meantime, another man coming from out of the woods uh, walks over to the axe. God damn it, Sean. No. And picks it up. No. And God. stands by the other. Damn it, Sean. Send them back. And they look at you. God damn it, Sean. And they look at the two of you. God and they look at each other. And the man on the right, uh, the large man, this one, is, he stands at about 6'4", uh, 6'6", six, 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 very tall, very muscular, wearing a large, pompous uh, coat. Uh, the other stands at about six feet skinnier um but equals equally a pompous leather jacket and leather outfit as well and they kind of look at each other and then they look at you um and the large man says well look here it's an adventuring party what brings you to the swamp uh we were sent here to find plumbing. oh god damn it you say plumbing yes <laughs> um, go ahead, uh, Pat. Uh, uh, Jack sent us to find two adventurers lost in the swamp, or... Uh, he looks, uh, this large man looks back at the other, and 
He says, and he looks at you, Archie, and he says, Lost, are you implying that the great base and his brother Ooh. Treble are lost? Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who they are, so I guess. Uh, and he looks at you, and he's like, and he's about to, he takes a, de a breath in to give a speech. When the other one uh, puts his hand on him and says, Well, hang on there, brother. I think this lot may be witches. What? No. The large one, no. witches. And he says, I, yes, look, they have a goblin. You're oh, right. A... Oh, that's his cutie. No, that's a, that's a goblin slayer. It's a, it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's a common misconception. And, it's, and the big one looks and says, "You're right. They also have a really big goblin." As he points at Miri. No, no. Uh, what? That... Nah, that's just Miri. No, that's the... racism. <laughs> Treble says, "Enlarged by their witchcraft, no doubt." Yes. Uh, no. I... Everything about this is wrong. Have you nah, ever left she... the house? They nah, even she's... have an enslaved dog person. Slavery in the current what? year of the king. <laughs> Despicable brother, we must take them out. Yes. Well, at least they ain't said anything about me. <laughs> and and he looks and like, oh, they've even summoned the devil. Ah, oh. crap! I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> well, Ash like looks like we're gonna have to fight out of a mess. Well, indeed, brother, we can defeat them and take the reward. Yes, indeed, we'll finally make it big as heroes. That we can start our own guild with everyone else having music theme names. Yes, that's our dream. What would you call this guild? It's like, oh, I'm glad you asked there, uh, only human. Clearly enslaved by these witches. You, Why? you got it. Yep. <laughs> we would call ourselves the Big Band Boys. <laughs> and he's he has his hands out. May I join? Theatrical. Go ahead, Mitch. May I join? It's, and uh, they look at you and it says, Why, yes, of course you may. Uh, we'll pick a nice theme for you. Uh, let's see, we can call you... Uh, hmm, you give a good vibe. Let's call you Jazz. You should call them Oboe. <laughs> That's actually a really good joke. <laughs> I missed that. What'd you say, Conrad? So I should call him Oboe. Oboe? Nice. That's actually way better. He doesn't know Obsidian's name, so he can't say that. Yeah. But, but that's good. That's shit. Oh, man. But, but wait. Oh, we for I forgot. And uh, his brother nudges him. Nudges him. That's right, brother. That one could be one of the witches. It's a shame, but we'll have to take them all out. Get their equipment and their money while we're at it. You know, the usual. That's you know, right. These, these guys probably aren't the guys that we're looking for. No, so. usually heroes are much nicer and not prone to robbery. Yeah, yeah these are just common bandits. <laughs> and he looks at you all, the big one. The big guy looks at you and he says, We're not bandits, we're heroes. Ain't that right, brother? We That's haven't seen right. a witch. That's right. Oh, we've seen witches. They're right in front of us. Don't let them dece no. deceive you, brother. Clearly, they're trying to use their witchcraft. I'm pretty sure there are some spells they can use. They're casting them right now. How, we, how do we know that you're not the witch? It's like, and the big one's thinking, but the small, the I shouldn't say small. He's just a little shorter. Says, uh, ah, don't listen to them, brother. They're trying to deceive you. No, no, no. Hang on. That should, that should be like some sort of test that we can conduct to prove like, no, that we're No, no. Brother, brother, don't, don't, let's, let's just attack them right now. While, while, strike while the iron's hot. And I'm sure once we do that, this whole mist will disappear. Nedry, I, I think you, you dunk a witch in the water and if she drowns, she's not a witch. That doesn't. What? <laughs> but if she floats, then she's a witch. Okay, a but... That's true, ducks also float. Sticks also float, too. You can see oh, the right. bigger base, the, the bigger fellow with the axe, 
Um, he's hesitant. He's trying to think. Um, but he's also uh, trying, he's looking at his brother. There, hmm? He's trying to think, and I'm like, don't strain yourself too hard there, buddy. He, he, he's sweating. He's, he's trying really hard to think. You can do um, it, buddy. I believe in you. He's trying really hard, but, uh, the words of his brother is, he, he he's, uh, he's gonna just probably have to listen to him. But, he's just like, hmm, he doesn't want to attack people if they're innocent, but... Maybe you guys are witches. If we were witches, we would attack you. And he's thinking, he's like, that's right, that's true. They have Hey, what about them. innocent until proven guilty? They ain't no, this ain't no justice. Um, Treble. If we, if we were witches, then we would have attacked you. But you're saying that you're about to attack us. So maybe so you are that make... witches. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, roll persuasion for me, Nedry. Oh, no. With advantage. Nedry's strong suit. As you're, uh, you're kind of bolstered by your party here. Oh, no, that... Uh... Nedry just tips her for Nora. Oh. Huh. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, Bass kind of, like, says... He, like, looks at his hands, like a uh, Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's like, am I the witch? What have I become? <laughs> I haven't put my nails in probably three months. Uh, he has very nice nails. He's definitely, you can tell that he has a, a manicure. Mm. Uh, but that said, uh, he's just kind of, he's like, wait, wait, brother, I don't think this is right. Nope, I could feel it in me gut. I don't think attacking these people is the right thing to do. And Treble, you can see Treble, he's kissing his teeth. He's like, oh, God damn it. Like, he really wanted to just uh, beat you guys up. Um, but he's like, all right, all right, all right, fine, fine, brother. Let's just, uh, be on our way or whatever. Let's leave these adventuring party to get lost in the swamp as well. And I'm sure later on we can, we can take advantage of them or something. You know, we can hear you, right? He's like, and he, he says, uh, he looks at, he looks at you, Archie, and he's like, he just waves his hand. Like, ah. Whatever. Besides, uh, there's no way they're going to be as strong as that other girl we fought. Oh, you mean Sophia? And... Um, She's got red hair? Sophia does not have red hair. I, th I thought she had red hair. <laughs> She's a uh, uh, silverish blonde. Oh. The red scarf? Uh, red scarf. She wears red clothes, but yeah. Yes. You're close, close. Um... Uh, they kind of look and say, uh, well, that one was definitely a witch. There's no way, uh, there's no way she could have been that strong. You, so you're saying you know the witch? Uh, no. I don't know her personally. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Well, um, Treble's just thinking, you can see. But he's like, all right, brother. I think we were a little bit outnumbered. I'm pretty sure, you know what? No, I'm pretty sure we would take them no problem. Especially with, you know, how powerful we are. We, we don't want to uh, show them up, you know? They, uh, we don't want them to look bad, this this little adventuring party here. I'm sure they're on some, they're trying to be on a grand quest. But uh, they'll just, let's, let's just leave the, the witches to handle them. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> And base is like, right, all right then. Well, let us proceed through this swamp. Cheerio, have a good day. Good luck to you. May our cro paths never cross again. One thing we finally you got that right. One thing we finally see eye to eye on. <laughs> uh, and with that, like, uh, I'll say, Treble just uh, turn like becomes an actual lightning bolt. And just disappears. See, um, that's witchcraft. If I ever saw it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, and as for uh, as for base, um, he takes his axe and starts playing it, and he starts to levitate and flies into the sky, but not too high, uh, just far enough to start traveling through the swamp. Okay. 
and those two disappear. Well, it's, I, I guess that went okay. With that, uh, Nedri and Archie, you continue to proceed through the swamp. And you all arrive eventually. And eventually, as you're approaching, you can hear... Um, you can hear the sounds of fighting. Uh, you can hear some blasting of magic, um, some slashing of a sword, and then the screams of someone dying. Ah. That sounded like a death scream. Mm-hmm. Oh. And as you as the uh, you're making it through the fog, the clearing becomes light uh, lower, and you can see up ahead. Also, like the first thing you are able to spot, despite the thick fog, is the massive goat demon goat skull of uh, of Baphomet. That must be the target. As you approach in the swamp a little further, the demon goat, uh, the black mother, Baphomet. Black Philip. And as you approach, you can see uh, a little bit, of, a few, few feet ahead of you, you finally find Sophia. And she's standing over the corpse of, uh, of a witch, or what you can assume to be a witch. Hi, yeah, Sophia. I don't know how that guy got confused. Those things look nothing like us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's no, not even close. Oh, hey, and yay, yeah, what's up, doll? Um, she turns to you. Uh, she turns to the party. Um, and she puts her finger over her mouth, uh, or over her lips, signaling you to be quiet. But you just made somebody scream. Oh, that's gonna be very. That's gonna be hard. I'll try. Um, she like slashes her sword to get the blood off and then moves towards you. That's cool. um, there's a third witch here in the swamp. You could try to find her, but perhaps we should focus on the task at hand. Okay, um, just lead the way to the skull. She will point towards, uh, towards north here, and say, we can perhaps move through the fog. However, that said, I don't know what's in the fog. That could be a direct way towards the skull. Otherwise, you can move throughout the land here that you can see. The fog is uh, over the water, so you will be moving, you'll be wading through it. The good path is right over there. Uh, she says, she nods and says, you can move that towards that way. But beware, there are goats here. Not normal type of goats. These are bred by the witches used in their rituals. And they also have goblins. Uh, Cutie will pop up at that. It's like, I'm here to kill the goblins. Sure are, buddy. <laughs> um, Sophia will say, well, proceed as how you desire. But be aware, there is a third witch. They are powerful. You, you can choose to try to sneak around. Or we can try to move forward as direct as possible. I'm fine with sneaking. But I know that some of you may not be as stealthy as I. Mm. Uh, perhaps another strategy would be to split the group, but I would advise against that. Yeah, no, we'll just go together. And with that, she just says, uh, well, I will have you lead. Which way should we go, guys? Uh, 
Uh, Nedry, you can make a survival check to get a hint for that. I'll use my witcher senses. Um, so you're confirming what uh, Miss Sophia said. Um, so to reiterate for you all, in case you didn't hear me, what you can't see is uh, literally thick fog. Um, and it's over the more the wetter areas of the of the swamp so you'll be moving at half speed through these areas um uh, of course there's direct land this way going straight towards it that's obviously the fastest um and uh as sophia said there is a witch within here within the land somewhere but um uh you're not able to tell where nedry Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I don't have a clue here. What do you think is the best? Just going straight for it? Or trying to find another route? If we're going half our speed, then it's not going to be very stealthy, will it? You, you, no, you'll still stealth. It's fine. Um, it's just that you will, you will be moving slowly. I won't like give disadvantage. It's it's just uh like knee deep water. It'll just depend on your uh, stealth checks, really, or I should say, whoever wants to try to lead. I'll lead. Okay, I'll just okay. go for it. You can do it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Ooh, that's let me... nearly the best I can do. That's a 19. Very good. Um, so where would you like to go? Uh, what was the consensus? Uh, Sophia pointed out, uh, heading north. Like, all right, let me go use the thingy majig. Um, like this way. Did you see the arrows there? Sorry. Ah, uh, yes. Going that way. That seems to be the uh, the way of avoiding as much as she can tell um, for her time here. But otherwise, um, that's going to be completely through the water. Uh, alternatively is, well, just straight dead ahead, right? Um, that's taking, that's on the land. Um, however, um, doesn't know how it's there. Um, this is also like another route, but who knows what else is there. Um, that seems to be, that seems to be the most dangerous route. Ironic is fine with the damp and dark places, so... Ironic's fine with going north. Like okay. the water. What's the, what's the, uh, uh, what's the, uh, agreement here as a party? Are y'all gonna do that? Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, Obs is, uh, stealth in it real good. Um... Can I please get a stealth check from Miri, Pat? Okay, uh, Archie will guide me through first. Okay, great. Perfect. And, uh, advantage to her stealth. Um, well, actually, that's fine still. Uh, well, she has normally disadvantage, so... Yeah, I know. I was gonna give advantage for, uh, for the group, but, um, she rolled, um, she, ro she would've rolled a 19, so... Um, all right. So as a group, you're all moving, oops, sorry, towards the north. Um, let's see. Well, I don't want to just give this to you. Um, let's see, you guys all move around uh, about here. Um, uh, everyone can do perception checks for me. Actually, uh, yeah, perception checks. Obs, what do your elf eyes see? Let's see. Uh, very good, very good perception check. Ooh. Okay. Um, hmm, 22. Um, Obs, as you're passing by the witch corpse, you notice there's something on her body. Uh, you could probably try to, um... 
It depends if you want to try and grab it. Um, but her, she's dressed in like, um, like robes with like tons of trinkets and stuff on them. So uh, grabbing an item may make a little noise. Ops is gonna avoid it, especially since if we're going back eventually, <laughs> that's probably sure best to get it on the way back. Sure, sure. Um, but more importantly, with your uh, your perception, you are able to point out that a uh, a goblin is hiding out um, in the swamp. Um, they're uh, they're in the water, um, like their head is poking out. Um, they notice you. And they're in fact they're waiting on you. Um, actually, sorry, no, they don't notice you, but they're uh, they're looking around. Um, you all can also see the the goat. Um, there, the goat doesn't seem to be uh, noticing anything. It's just kind of just chewing its cod. Should we just blast him? Anything? I just... It hasn't noticed us yet, so... It has not. I misspoke before. It has not noticed you. Is it just standing there menacingly? Um, it's on the lookout. It's, uh, waiting for... It's, it's clearly waiting for you guys. Um, like, it's trying to find you. <clears throat> while staying hidden itself. Do you feel we could, like, stealth up and capture him and, like, question him? Or should we just, like... Uh, he's in the him? water, right? Uh, his head is poking out. So, of oh. course, you guys can see that. But, like, uh, it's, it's, it, it, he's intentionally hiding. Bloosh, bloosh, bloosh. He's waiting for a surprise attack. Okay. But um, the fog is very thick, so he can't see you guys either. I'm just gonna, like... As long as you, uh, stay within the fog. I'm just gonna, like, slowly draw back an arrow and just, like, kind of make eye contact of everyone else looking for, mm. like, a sign of approval. Uh, is your, is your arrow magically enhanced with Not fire right or something? Okay. I got turned off for the, uh, skelly battle. Sure. It's a regular arrow. Okay. So it's, uh... Ah, you have aim. Um, he's considered prone... Um, so you will, this will neutralize it. Okay. So can I just add the plus five then? Um, no, I'm going to say you can just do a regular roll. Oh, man. Um, because, yeah. Okay. In this case, I won't give that option. Because he's prone. All right. You shoot him. And, uh... You just managed to kill him. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Do we get experience? Do we level up? <laughs> uh, you shoot him right through, um, right in through his skull. And he just, uh, just silently just bobs in the water. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yep. Just bloop, 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 bloop. Um, let's see. Actually, I'm going to make a perception. So what happens, uh, the goat, um, the goat looks, looks towards the goblin and it moves over to it and starts eating it. Oh, okay. Um, as it's eating it, you can notice that its teeth are massive and jagged. Well, we should, we better hurry if it's distracted. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, that's the purpose. It's it's distracted. So let me get um Obs, please do a, another stealth check with advantage. Alright. Turning on advantage. Okay. You all move stealthily through here. Go ahead and reveal this area. It's just fog. <laughs> okay. And I'll say like right around here, um, 
you guys notice like another goblin comes out. No! You can't eat Larry! Ah! And he's like trying to stop the, the goat from, from eating his friend. And then the goat just um, gores him with its horns and starts eating him too. Jesus Christ. It's a fucked up goat. Alright. You guys uh, make it to, uh, to over there. Uh, would you like to proceed? Hmm? You can see the skull is within uh, within sight. Um, I'll just say you guys are uh, like right here, so you guys can uh, move around as you please. All right. Well, Miri, this... ha ha Miri has the bombs. I think she would just distribute them all to each person. Okay. For some reason, I thought Archie had them. No. Um. Uh. And what were you saying that she'd hand one to each person? Yep. Makes sense. All right. So who who's going to be the uh, the bomb carriers? Uh, one person will need to go down south, which is the farthest. Um, east, west. Maybe Obs for the south one because he's the stealthiest. Makes sense. Sure. Do you consent? All right. There we go. I guess Miri for this one since she's the loudest. Yeah. Yeah, she's right there. Uh, tenacity's the fastest, so maybe one of these ones. Uh, which one would you like to do, Jeff? Uh, ba -ba -ba. I'll do that. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. All right, and then I guess Archie will take this one on this, the other side. And then okay. have uh, Nedry look out. Right. Ah, Nedry's on the lookout. Okay, Nedry, make a perception check, please. All right, Nedry, um, I'll reveal some stuff for you. Dear God, it's all grass. Dear God, it's all grass. Um, always has been. Always has been. Nedry, I'll say you can notice that there's a goblin over here. Oh shit! And um, the kind of and they're clearly um, mm, you kind of hear like so, there's like some noise, and the goblin perks up. Like it's being commanded, and it moves over back here. Ah, it's a demo goblin. Um, I'll, I'll tell the party that mm. there's some goblin taking orders down yonder. Okay. Potentially, it could be a whole bunch of them. Can't tell because mm. of the fog. Mm. All right. Um, Archie. Uh. You manage to make it to the back here. And uh, make a spellcraft check for me. Oh, very nice. Um, with that, Archie, uh, you can kind of hear some whispers in your ear. Like it's speaking from the skull. Um, and... See, I'm gonna say at that point, like your patron comes to you, it comes to your mind and tells you, Archie, um, don't listen to them, Archie. Focus. Be a good boy. Okay. You're you're moving quickly. You and your friends are doing very well. If you move if you're if you're able to detonate this skull in time, you can avoid a lot of trouble. Archie just kind of silently nods. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, tenacity and OBS, please make stealth checks for me. Outside of the advantage? No advantage this time. Adequate. Uh, where's, where's OBS? Okay. All right. Um, OBS and Tenacity, I'll say you both reach about here. I'll put OBS on this side because you guys are like moving in the same direction. So um, at that point, uh, you can kind of hear, uh, I'll say Nedry 
you hear uh <laughs> and with that um they're up to something mm -hmm. uh let's see obs you're going to let's see okay that totally misses obs all right, Ooh. from the fog comes out a blast. Fires are right at you. Um, but you can clearly tell with that, uh, enemies have been alerted. Uh, everyone roll initiative. Oh shit, I forgot to clear the, no, I forgot to clear the chat. Oh wait, it's gonna replace it, I hope. NPCs here, so let me get them. If anyone would like to play some music, feel free. And then some gobbles. I'll just have them go on the same turn as her. Alright, so I totally forgot to clear the initiative order, so I have to make sure everyone's good. Um, Archie's at 9. Great. Just delete that one. Um, Tenacity is at 9. Delete that one. Miri. Uh, can you can you roll for Miri for me? Uh, did, did you roll for me? Yeah, she got a one. Oh, okay. It says okay. That's my fault. Yep, I would have to switch the as thing before I roll instead yeah, of yeah. But no, she I comes don't. up properly. Yeah, yeah. I got you, Ben. Um, Obs got six. Okay, Nedry got fourteen. All right, nine, nine. All right. Okay. All right, it is um, the Unseen Witch's turn. As you guys know, it's attacking you from the fog. I'm going to say, she. Uh, well, as far as you know, only Obs and Tenacity have been spotted. Um, Obs, you are inflicted with Hex. Ah, Hex. And you get two more Blasts. Uh, so that's 16 damage. All right. Or, well, I had the right. minus six for or or plus or the six temp. AC. Yeah. And another hex on you. All right. Okay, so 15 in total. I believe so. Uh, no, not 15 in total. Um, so 25. in total. So, yeah. Thank you for the math. Um, and you can knock off the uh the the temp HP from that too. I already had some temp HP from the previous mm -hmm. session. Did it still carry over? From the previous session? No. Like, yeah, I didn't think what, so. Whatever Archie gave you would have replaced that. I, Archie gave you seven, I believe? I gave him like, six, yeah. Six. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't think we have that temp HP anymore. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, All right. Did we actually gain any health back from the short rest? Yeah, you got back your full health. Oh, okay then. Never mind. Then I have. Uh... Just this attack minus my full health, or and the six. six. Right. So what's the total for me, Pat? Uh, no, it was tw it. twenty-five. Twenty-five. The six is gone, so there's ten, mm -hmm. and then fifteen together. Thank you. All right. Um. Uh, Cutie has no idea what to do. No idea where things are coming from. I'm gonna say she's gonna just try to uh, guard the bomb from from uh and Miri. Nedry. Uh, Conrad? Yep, sorry. I had my mic muted. Um, okay. I'll run 
one out over here. Uh, if you move over there, the goat's definitely going to notice you. Oh, no, not the goat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Not the goat. What about here? Perfect. Um, we still can't see them, right? Make a perception check. Um, I'll give you advantage for this one. We take the perception. Okay. Uh, you don't uncover all of the fog here. Are you able to see that? Okay. Good enough. Uh, I will strike true. Mm hmm. Uh, this guy here. Are you slapping Hunter's Mark on it? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do that. <laughs> All right. Um, that is definitely a miss. Goes wide. Goes wide. Pretty wide. Okay. That'll be your turn. Um, this one over here. Is gonna do the same, and just move uh, next to you, Nedry. Uh, they can't do much from this distance. So, yeah. all right, tenacity, Jeff, you're up. Alrighty. Gonna do my bow. Damn. Um, who are you striking? I'm striking goat. The goat. Wait, what are we? Wait, wait, what are uh, we attacking? Wait, what? What are we? Oh, oh shit! There are goblins over there. I didn't even notice them. Yeah, the goats are uh, still eating these corpses. Oh, I, th I thought the goat um, was what we it's were. It's not fighting. in battle yet. No, okay, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit that one then. The one right. on the bottom. Okay. Exactly. I didn't even. I didn't even see those fuckers. They were off of my screen. <laughs> um, that guy goes down. Um, Archie. Okay, uh, is the bomb set here, or do I have to spend... Um, you're gonna have to activate it and all that, but if you want to, like, set it down, then yes. Uh, can I activate the bomb? Um, it is... You can see that it's on a timer, so... Oh, then I just set have... it down? I, I'm, uh, I'm confused here. No, you can, like, you can put it down, but, like, if you turn it on, like, it has a timer on it. What's the timer? Uh, you can see that it lasts for, uh... 20 minutes. I mean, that should be a safe one amount of time, right? I don't know. I mean, how powerful is this bomb? Are they, is it safe to activate right now, or what? I don't know. Uh, you were you were instructed that you would have to uh, set off all four of them to destroy this skull. I'll just set the bomb down. Okay. Um, so only this bomb is set for 20 minutes. Uh, then I guess I'll move out over here. Okay. I guess try to see if I can see anything. Because I guess I... I think you can. It's, stuff is within your range. Um, and of course you're under the horn. Um, yeah, you can, you can see, uh, you can see that goblin. But nothing beyond. Uh, I'll give you a perception check. Let's see. And yeah, with that, you're able to see a little further. And... You notice the witch. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bonus action... I'm going to hex her. Okay. With my innate hex. Mm-hmm. So that does not take your concentration. And then I'm Slapping going to Eldritch Blaster. Bam! <sighs> uh, roll the hex stamp. There we go. Bam! Uh, you can see with the hex that uh, the necrotic damage doesn't do much. In other words, she's resistant. But you can tell that uh, your Eldritch Blast sure did a whopping. Like, uh, it punched her right in the, uh, in the shoulder. Obs. Yeah. You're up. 
Okay, I'm not quite sure what I should do, seeing as I'm nearly dead. Mm -hmm. You got a potion, don't you? And you're right, it was 25 after I was... I took off the temp HP. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, it's a good thing I had that temp HP, because that would have instantly killed me, but, uh... Passes in the past, and, uh... Yeah, I... The only way I can get extra defense is to attack, but I don't think I can go any cl If I got any closer, then I would put myself up to be attacked, so I think that I just have to run. Okay. Um, to the same thing that Pat said, do you have any potions on you? Pretty sure you have a couple. Uh, no, I have one notion. Ah. That will specifically poison me. Mm-hmm. I guess just uh, retreat and uh, uh, do like a... Sometimes retreat is necessary. Dodge action? Well, I can't do any dodge actions because I don't have any any things until I attack, so mm -hmm. I... No, like you can dodge, like defending yourself is what everyone can do. Oh, okay then. Just like everything will have a disadvantage to you, and you'll have advantage on um, on any saves that you can uh, perceive. Okay. I'm just uh, gonna dodge, and who has a potion? Uh, I can I can get you healed up. It's just gonna need to get close, roughly. Mm. Roughly. Uh, tenacity. Do you have a potion on you? Uh, let me check. Since you're adjacent to OBS, I will I allow... I do not. You do not. All right. Uh, let's see here. I mean, I do have a scroller if things go real you bad. You gotta wait till someone dies first. <laughs> yeah, that's just, just in case things go real bad. Just in case I'm the emergency plan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, emergency NPC moves over. And uh, gives Ob's uh, potion. Actually, I say like QD shoves it in your mouth. Um, well, she's not, she's not gonna be that rude. She'll shove it in your hands, um, and that will restore 20 HP. All right, HP. Okay, that's her action. Uh, her turn, excuse me. Um, Pat, do you want Miri to do anything? Uh, yeah, definitely. Set um... off the bomb. Well, set the bomb down, I guess, because mm -hmm. we have to activate them all together. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. If Obs, what's your move speed? Uh, my move speed is forty. Um, mm -hmm. very fast. Then uh, Miri can make you move and attack. Yes. If you want to do that. Oh. Um, it's only thirty feet. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. a... Well, no, it's within... Oh, it's half their speed. It would be 20 feet for him. Oh, he, he's okay. he's within... Thir... Uh, I would have to move and 10 feet. Perform. That said, and I it... do have with my spear a ranged attack. Plus 5 to hit and tw range of 20, so... Uh, yeah. I mean, it says single attack. Um, so, you yeah. can go for that. Miri will move up close enough to where she can use charge, and then... Mm -hmm. You can move half your speed, which is twenty. Yeah, and definitely the the um that guy's in in range, so you can. All right. Hope this does all right. That does not go all right. That's an unfortunate miss. Um, it lands like right next to him. Um, yeah. The blood witch. Um, let's see, it still has Ob's Hexed. It's going to, um, let's see. Where is... Alright. It's going to target, uh, Miri. Where is this thing? Oof. Alright. All right, everyone makes a strength saving throw. So, Mir not everyone. Miri, Sophia, 
Nedri, Cutie, and Tenacity. I'll make a strength saving throw. Not Archie. Oh, wait. Sorry. It's weird. It's attack. Yeah, yeah. Um, clear pass from her. Oof. Oof. Big oof. Um, I choose not to. Uh, we roll it. Go for it. Uh, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we roll it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Third time's the charm. That's all it takes, boys. Oof. Sophia fails it. And cutie. It's a strength save, so she'll probably pass it. Yeah. Okay. So several of, so, some some characters get uh either full damage or is it half damage? Uh, half, yeah. On, okay, it's half. And so uh, what happens is like you can see the ground turns dark, and a giant maw opens up, and from it uh, several tongues jet out and start to uh, just wail on you all, um, and deals that amount of damage. Um, whoever got got what takes the takes it. All right. Um, and let's see, that's her spell, and aha, um, for her action, she's going to use this on Obs, and she's going to have Obs. Uh, charisma check or save? Yes, please go go for it. All right. Hold on. Oh, I think. Because he's uh, dodging, doesn't he get? Ah, uh, um, he he. Would the dodge still take effect? Um, either way, um, because of her hex, uh, he has disadvantage on the charisma anyway. But he, um, I mean, he has advantage, so yeah. Okay. He will neutralize exactly. Was the hex chosen on new. charisma? Yes, she she always puts it on charisma, do so we, she can do this. Do we go? Half damage, up or down. All right, and so she's just gonna uh, have you move thirty feet exactly. So is is the damage the half damage? Is that like rounded down or up? Down, always round down. Okay, so that's at least six. Ooh, thanks for the bomb symbols there, Pat. Okay. But um, but Obs, you can see she's moving you towards the goat, deliberately. Oh. Sorry about that. You're good. All right, cutie kills the goblin. Do what she does best. Okay. Um... Oh, I should say she moves here, so she's not in your way. Oh, okay. Yep, she's in range. Okay. Woohoo! Um, is she like prone or? Who the witch? Yeah. No, yeah. she's standing straight up. Perfect. Advantage or plus five, whichever you choose. Um, I'm gonna take the advantage. Perfect. Yes! Alright. Uh, hunter's mark as well, please. Shot. Put your, what's your hunter's mark? Three. You, three? Uh. Oh. Seven! Seven! <laughs> That's the clue. Um, and with that, uh, Obs, you can feel <clears throat> the uh, the hex that was placed on you has ended. Oh, thank goodness. Um, essentially, well, she's dropped her concentration. Um, <laughs> Nedra, you can attack again, I guess. Can I? Uh, you only used one. Oh, aim is an action. Never mind. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I remember. I, f I forgot I did that to, to make it not as strong. Um, Sophia will... Uh, Think she's gonna like try to make sure she's on guard from the goat okay she's definitely in range so she's gonna move here 
like next to uh, tenacity, just to um, not too close, not too far, to uh, move in if needed. Tenacity, it's your turn though. More arrows. Oof. That one's a oh. oh! Run! Oh my god. All right. <laughs> All right, you shoot, you shoot the witch, um, and uh, and with with that, uh, you just you just pop her. I don't know. How do you want to kill her? I mean, it should like scrape between the eyes. All right, nice, clean, and simple. Your your crossbow bolt just goes, and uh, she drops. Um, with that, um, the other the other goblins kind of go. Yeah. You can see them there, and they just. Uh, they just start running around like crazy, um, and they run. They run south, and what they run south to are some goats, and they don't realize that. And the goats just gore them and start eating them. Um, they were already eating a hobgoblin, or excuse me, a um, a larger goblin. I guess you guys haven't met this type yet, so um, they were just eating like a large creature. But now they're eating the goblins now, too. All right. Gee, I don't know what those other mooks were talking about. Killing witches is easy. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do is fucking shoot them. Uh, Sophia turns to you and says, uh, they're much more challenging when all three of them are together. Well, they're not going to be challenging anymore. Uh, we should probably get happen. these bombs set up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Please proceed. All right. I need have to move. <laughs> Tenacity just that, that down. Just that good. Just that down. Um, I guess uh yeah, Obs, you have the um, you have the fourth one. So you, I'll just move your token, and yes. you uh you set it that's down what, here. That's where I was intending to go. Excellent. All right. Um, all of you set it down. And uh, also, I recall my uh, spear that was left over. Oh, of course, and you, you just boom, it just zooms right up to you, um, Mjolnir, m m uh, Thor's hammer style. <laughs> Mjolnir, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Mjolnir, uh, what are those numbers, um, Pat? It's a joke that's uh, lost on you, it's okay. Okay, I, I'm sorry, it's lost on me at this time. You can google it if you want. Um, is it boobies? No, no. Okay, <laughs> but all right, all of you set it down, and um, the the oh, Counter Strike, the bomb is pretty simple. Um, you just push the button, and the counter starts, and you all, and so um, uh, you know what? Maybe, let me make you guys roll something to uh, do it in sync, just just for funsy. Uh, oh, everyone should... roll, um, you can roll Charisma. That's the team for this, for this team effort. Charisma. Or just a Charisma save? Know. Save or check. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. It's, it's, it's the same, it's the same numbers. Saving throws are a little higher. I give, the, there's a hello bonus, but I, I'm okay with it. All right. So all of you, all of you pass. Um, Miri, Miri is like, um, like a second later. But it's like it goes, it go, it's good. Um, um, should run. And yeah, uh, cutie, you can see cutie is already sprinting across the swamp, running back. Yeah. Sophia starts to sprint as well, and everyone else does. Obs, uh, what's your health at right now? <clears throat> uh, my health is twenty five because of that potion. Uh, twenty five out of. 30. I'll give you one healing of Jessica. Uh, I don't need the heals right now. Okay. Okay. Seems the potion uh, really helped him, so that's good. All right, so I'll say you guys reach about here. Uh, oops, I forgot uh, Sophia's with you now. So you guys managed to go through that real quick. Like, real quick. Even despite uh, the witch noticing you. Um, let's see. 
as uh, Nedri and Archie kind of guides through the, the swamp once more, you head back to uh, these ruins here. I'll say it's like a, it's like a, you guys move out like a good two miles. Oh, it's this like a good two miles away. Um, and Kablooey. Kaboom, kaboom. The, uh, the, uh, you can hear, you can see the explosion from where you are. Um, and with that, like the mists around the swamp disperses. And, uh, for a moment you see something rise out from the, from the swamp starting to, uh, tower over it. It's ethereal. It's only, you can only see, you see it, uh, phasing in and out of reality. I would say even there's like a, there's like a static effect. Um, and you are all, you all receive like a massive migraine. It's as if your eyes aren't meant to see this creature hovering over the swamp. Right, Archie's going to look away. Ah, oh, jeez, got to get this get back in the thing. I close my eyes. I do not see it. <laughs> um... Ironic looks at it, or no, no, sorry, I'm um, sorry, um, it's different. Obs was, yeah. uh, look, looks at it, it's just like, oh, the thing in the sewer was worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you see a extremely frightening creature, um, something that should not exist. Uh, it's a deform, it's a demonic goat of some kind, um, with disgusting tendrils protruding from it. Um, I will say, like, uh, some of you decide to close your eyes, correct? Mm-hmm. I'll allow that for sure. Um, Obs, uh, unfortunately, uh, I will not allow Obs to just brush it off. Um, Obs starts to vomit. Um, you, you are uncontrollably vomiting on the ground um, and as you break into a seizure. You're not gonna really role play a seizure. No, it's fine. Um, I'm just saying that everyone, every well, um, everyone around you can kind of see that uh, Obs is, um, yeah, Obs is not doing well. Archie would, you know, do uh, get down. I definitely don't expect you to role play a seizure. Uh, Archie um, would definitely check on him. Mm hmm. Um, after about a minute or so, like, Obs is able to, um, to, uh, get control of himself or themselves I should say um, but uh, as you are all, all most of you like managed to turn away um, as you can tell that this thing you saw you were not meant to see it at all this is a uh, a horrific creature um, and I will say as well like uh, it just disappears as soon as it comes and the swamp itself seems to have a less air to it, less dread to it. Abs, Abs, are you okay? I was, was okay. Uh, I was worried. You looked at the thing and. Uh... Well, it's better than being a pillar of salt. You can turn into a pillar of salt. No, I read a book. A book once. So it was it was pretty, pretty neat. It's about like a city that explodes, and then everyone in the radius turns to salt. That, that's not really cool. That's terrible. It was described in a cool way. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Obs, uh, I should say, Mitch, give yourself a uh, inspiration point um, for, uh, for being a trooper. Yeah. All right. Um, everyone else, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the swamp kind of clears. And you also see that um, the trees themselves, some of them that they were dead before, seem to spring back. They seem to, like, suddenly have some life jolting in them. 
uh, what was once like a massive entanglement of mangroves and um, and uh, other trees uh, that was blocking the way um, towards uh, Britain. Um, a path just seems to clear part for you. And you can oh. see that you can uh, you can take that path instead of having to uh, travel through the ruins again. Well, it looks like getting home will be easier. Just... Yeah, getting home will be a lot easier, for sure. Does everybody want to head out? I'd be all right with that. Uh, Sophia. Yes, Archie. Uh, were those two really loud guys the other adventurers? Ah, uh, I did encounter them. They are, how do I say, quite eager to fight. They will be fine. The curse on the swamp has been lifted, it seems. And I'm sure they will find their ways home. But that w those were them, so they're they're okay, and we can tell Jack that they're alive and okay. Yeah, she nods at that. Uh, you can kind of see that she's not too too concerned about that anymore. Um, you can see that uh, there's a lot of relief on her for uh, getting rid of, or let's just say, lifting this curse on the swamp. All right. Um, and with that, I will say this part, um, this part ends as you will all return to Britain, or I should say towards the, towards the fort. To Camelot. To Camelot. And with that, we'll end the session there. Yay. All right. Well, all of you did well. Um, everyone gets another inspiration point. If you haven't gotten it already, thank you. I need. I'm, I mean, you get another one, even if you got another. One. Oh, so I have two. Yes, that's correct. That's what I meant to say. Sorry, that's what I was trying to say. Um, but all right. Oh, and right. Uh, after all that, you guys will level up as well. Um, uh, we can um, handle that next session. Um, like uh, basically how i wanted to, to go is that you have enough experience through all of this and um like at camelot since there's a training ground there you can um like you can role play uh, if you want to um how you're like how your character's acquiring the skills otherwise if you feel um uh, if you just want to just add it to your sheet feel free to do so um uh, won't force anything onto you but um but i think that might be fun to do awesome all right gang. level four level four um level and this four. level as well you guys will um you'll get the merits um so i believe uh some of you may be interested in like spell casting stuff or uh different weapon stuff so um you can check out what i wrote already otherwise yeah. um anything else you can um, just let me know what you want. Sure. We do, we're not doing abilities or improvements, so... That'll be at level 5. Oh, five. Uh, Every time you get a proficiency bonus, you get 4 scores. Oh, okay. Neat. 4 score? 4 score. There you go. Uh, Alright, gang. So, yeah. Uh, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I actually, ooh, I actually want to give, uh... Let me give you, everyone gets another inspiration point for uh, dodging the uh, unnecessary battle with base and treble. Hey, hey. Um, awesome. What's our max again? Is it three? Or... Uh, it's unlimited until the end of the whole chapter, which is coming soon. But um, I'm going to do something where, like, you can cash it out and get, like, gold instead for whatever leftover. Awesome. Um, oh. That's nicer instead of just, uh, just, yeah, take it away. Um. But yeah, um, so like I'll say that what I had intended was, um, well, I had this intended for how you guys did this, 
um, I had some extra stuff planned as well. Um, basically, you guys having to go into the blood fort and uh, and dealing with a lot there. But um, like base in trouble would have slowed you down. And then um, depending on what route you took in the swamp would have slowed you down. Um, how long you took fighting the witch would have slowed you down. But you guys did everything real quick. So, Which congrats. is that good? Congrats. Um, I'm just going to have to make everything a whole lot harder. Oh, no. I mean, I nearly died in a single hit. Well, it was two hits, technically. That's, you're, you're fine. You would have been fine. Um, remember my rules. Uh, if you hit zero HP, you're not dead. Someone just heals you, and you're back up. You're just um, sleeping. You're just you're just unconscious. Yep, and, and I would have healed you on my turn. Get back. Um, the only time you die is uh, if that happens like uh, three, well, four times technically. So, um, but yeah, and it's only one member. There's like, and you have two NPCs. You guys could have uh, could have gotten more. I'll throw in some T Rexes or something. I don't know. Oh shit! <laughs> Not a T Rex. Not a T-Rex. But alright. Um, really hope you're enjoying this. Um, yeah. And uh, also, mm, it's a little early, but I guess you can start thinking on um, whether you guys... Actually, no. Never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with it. I, I've, I know what I'm going to do. Um, well, actually, uh, I don't want to force anything on you. It does depend on what route you want to take. But uh, we'll, when we when we get there, we'll get there. We'll okay. that way. Um, right. Sean. Yes, sir. On your merits, you just have meta magic, um, but you yes. don't have any levels yet. What are you planning uh, for that? Yeah. Um. So meta magic. Uh, I'll like break it down. Like, like some of the some of the. I'll I'll have to break it down. But like, not all of them will be available. And like, you get one meta magic. Um. Um. Uh, yeah, and like each merit, you can get a new one. You know. Okay. Um, but for, just uh, just one per uh, level or one merit. one per merit. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. meta magic can get really powerful. So, um, and like um, yeah, for the most part, it's going to be just what what's listed under the sorcerer. But I'm going to tweak some of them to be um, to be a little better. Um, uh, and also make it like instead of like obviously no sorcery points, but like it'll cost a spell slot to do it. You know. Um, and I'll probably say they can only be applied to spell spells, no can't rips, um, or maybe I don't know, because um, it can be still useful on can't rips. So yeah, anyway, usually like a twin spell or yeah, yeah, because you can use that on, and I think that'll be very useful for your uh, your eldritch blast. Mm -hmm. um, just pretty much just tell me what what you want, and we'll uh, we'll work it out. So all right, um, any questions anyone else have? Anyone else has? Hmm. Not for this campaign. All right. Well, uh, next week will be well, hopefully Persona if everyone gets their Arcana ready. Cough, cough. Um, otherwise, uh, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Okay. Uh, you need us to like go. send us your uh, mm -hmm. uh, send us. Have us send you uh, like a Google Doc or something like character. Uh, no, I, I waive that because I put up the roll 20 sheets. You can just put everything on there. It okay. should fit unless you have like too much information. Um, then go ahead and make a Google Doc. OK, we want to do like a whole biography. Um, but yeah, thanks again, guys. I super appreciate you all. Um, it really means a lot to me to to spend the time with you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Thanks again. Uh, heck yeah, goodbye. <laughs>